Now, I have watched a lot of mysterious videos, but these seven mysteries took literal years to solve. Now, it's one of those like things that happened back in the day and then the technology got better and then that's when they could actually find out, you know, what actually happened. So these are always like, the, the, okay, the, there's one I can think of, but I don't remember exactly the person's name. Like it, 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 it was a big thing uh, back in the day. Uh, it's like this little girl uh, uh, died or something like that. And they just could never find out who the killer was. And I was like, like, even to this day, they're like, they don't know if the little girl like lived or died. I, I guess I like, shouldn't say that she died, but they like, they weren't a hundred percent sure. And then like a couple years ago, it came out that that little girl was Katy Perry. And it was just a weird, it was, just, I don't know if you remember that, but uh, I'll, I'll, if I can remember the thing of it, I'll show it like the, I can't remember. It was like a certain type of case kind of thing. I can't remember exactly, but cause we learned about it in school and then literally like when you we were learning about it in school, that's when they came up and said, Oh, Katy Perry is the same person. And we're like, no, she's not. Uh, no, that's just, no. So other than that, we we're going to see these seven mysteries that took years to solve. I always like, I'm kind of fascinated with these, but also like kind of terrified of these. So I'm a little like, uh, that's kind of why. So without further ado, let us get into this video right now. Welcome back to Sad Memory X. Today oh we have myself, Harry, and Zerka. And hey. we are reacting to seven. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> We're reacting to seven haunted mysteries that took years to solve. Haunted yes. mysteries. Ronda Redham, rude boy. Uh, what, huh? People will Sorry, always want to solve them. Okay, Harry, just, you do you, boo -boo. Mysteries <laughs> tend to be intriguing enough for people to invest a lot of time into finding the last piece of the puzzle. Yeah. They will tend to do anything to find out what actually happened the day the mystery happened. Mm -hmm. Some mysteries take years to solve, and sometimes mm -hmm. the case can be genuinely disturbing and frightening to most people. Sometimes the solution scares people away, and sometimes the whole entire case was bizarre from the beginning. Yeah. You're watching Top Trending, and today we're counting down our picks <laughs> for the most trending, haunting shout mysteries that you've ever seen. Top Trending, shout out. We're discussing dark and gruesome topics, so you yes. can warn. Yes. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. The mysterious vanishment of Anastasia Nikolaevna. In 1918, oh, during the October yeah. Revolution within Russia, Tsar Nicholas II and all of his family members were executed by the secret police. However, mm. since their bodies were never found, many women claimed to be Anastasia Anastasia herself, uh -huh. dozens of them in fact. One of the more notable oh. ones, Anna Anderson, had went as far as claiming she had lost all memory of the execution at all, as she had been busy living in an asylum. Since her body was yet to be found, she was able to fool people into believing her own story. Skeletons were eventually she, she sighted and it. dug up that remained from the family in 1991. Yet two what? bodies still went missing. Whose two bodies were they, you may ask? None other than Anastasia's and her sister. The search continued as that event actually strengthened people's arguments of them claiming to be Anastasia. Eventually, two burned skeletons were sighted near the site where the skeletons were, but inside of a pit in 2007. Oh, After no. a DNA test, it was confirmed that one of the skeletons was in fact Anastasia. It took oh. nearly 90 years to confirm the death Jesus of Anastasia. Christ, up next 90. for number Six is an audio Christ. file that ended up causing a lot of controversy and confusion back within its day. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or the mm -hmm. NOAA, recorded a loud and strange sound through their deep sea microphones in 1997. That was it. Bro, mm -hmm. That was a bumble. That was it. That was it. That was it. That was the bubble sound effect. Fuck, guys. What's a mystery? Oh. Another bubble. It was a huh? blooping sound that came from the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> what? The sound was a long distance of over 5,000 kilometers. It had caused quite a large stir within the public. Many okay, but this was back in the day, so I can understand why. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That it came from a large sea monster due to the fact of how incredibly natural sounding it is. People speculated it was an air bubble, or a fin pedaling, or a creature consuming another. See? Many people really wanted this bloop to have come from a large <laughs> fantasy <Jesus>. creature. <laughs> Yet many lost. Didn't know your mum had gone for a swim, Josh. <laughs> Oh my god. She's crazy, bro. You're gonna get a backhand. Yeah, no, no I like him. Well, I should have I'm sorry. <laughs> studies yeah. prove that mythical creatures remain to be mythical. The NOAA oh. has begun running an acoustic survey in the Bransfield Strait at Drake Passage in 2005, okay. examining really? sounds within the area. It lasted five six, years, six, six. ending in 2010. They discovered that sounds of an ice quake, ice cracking and breaking apart, were identical to the acoustic survey of the blue. Oh, Robert well, Ziad, an oh. avid member of the NOAA, had claimed that many were misled by the sound being from an organic creature due to the fact that it was played and popularized 
at a much quicker rate. If played at real time, the sound would sound like rumbling and shaking. The bloop was nothing more but ice clashing against each other. For number five, gotcha. we have the identification of the Grateful Doe. In 1995, a man was killed in a devastating Simon. car crash. Jesus! Simon. <laughs> You're reaching a bit. I'm reaching a lot. Really? That's what I'm saying. Why? It's just Guys. any guy, bro. Guys, <laughs> seriously. Y'all I can see shit. where you're coming from. But you're I, I can't see where you're coming from. It could have been Simon, and now it's not Simon. Can you get onto the screen now, please? Come <laughs> on. No, I'll no, just do it for a few seconds longer. It could, it could indeed be Simon Minimum. You never know. No, it could have been Simon. We'll get to the bottom of this mystery, don't you worry. Oh, I bet we will. Grateful Dell, 1995, a man was killed in a devastating car crash in Virginia. He had no ID on him, and the images taken of the tragic incident involved a star tattoo located on his arm, two Grateful Dead ticket stubs, and a note that was addressed to a man called Jason. Once the images circulated within the internet, the corpse was granted the nickname Grateful Doe. His family had been looking for him all this time as well, wondering what had happened to their child that just didn't return home that day. The internet had not known about the identity of the person at all, up until people on Reddit chose to examine the images themselves and identify the man. A user by the name of Grey Metal had posted the image of the man, asking Reddit Web Sleuths, a website dedicated to finding missing people, and Imgur, what? any sort of info about about the man. Many more images of the Grateful Doe were messaged to Grey Metal, as many were joining in on the research, making sketches of the man. Leisha Johannik, mm. an operator of True Crime Facebook pages, was contacted by Margareta Evans after Mrs. Evans had heard a broadcast asking about a man in Myrtle Beach. She confessed that it was her son in the images, as she was confirmed by a judge that she is the son of the man. His identified name is Jason Callahan. What? At number Wait, four, we have the son of the man. Can you can just repeat that real quick. She's the, the son of the man. <laughs> the voice yeah, was not wrong. Yeah, she yeah. confessed that it was her son in the images, as she was confirmed by a judge that she is the son of the man. What? Yeah, I... Uh, what? <laughs> I, 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 I think that's up there. there. Jason Callahan. Just... At number four, we have the sudden disappearing of a 19-day-old infant. Carlina oh, White was in the hospital on August 4th, oh, no. 1987 in New York's Harlem Hospital Center. She had been sick for days due to an infection and high fever and had to stay at the hospital. She swallowed liquid which caused the infection and had a fever of 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 Jeez. degrees Celsius. Her parents Jesus. rushed Whoa. her to the hospital and a nurse had approached them and took their baby to nurse them. Yet the woman was not a nurse that worked at the hospital. She was oh. a completely different and irrelevant <gasps> woman that had no involvement with anything in regards to the hospital. No. She dressed as a nurse and kidnapped the child. The parents sued the hospital and won a settlement. The kidnapping of Carlina White is the first non-parental abduction of an infant in New York. That's not the craziest part. Carlina White was actually found 23 whole years later. In 2010, what? she was rediscovered as Nedra Nettie Nance and had discovered that she was kidnapped once she saw images of herself as an infant with other parents that wasn't her quote-unquote mom, Anagetta Ann Petway. She was raised in Connecticut by Ann for 23 years, eventually contacting her birth family and getting her DNA tested to confirm that she was from that and family. And 23 years? later you find out you're kidnapped so what but what, it's because you've been raised by a different person so like what do you imagine oh, finding out crazy. your parents kidnapped you oh. God, oh my god that's the, I, I made you start oh. with the peas as well like harry tomorrow imagine you found, found out you, you got kidnapped yeah but that, that's why we're born because my parents are really sound so like, i'd be like well you, well <laughs> Fuck you! What you doing? Fuck you! You're right. You're right. You're right. I like you. You're right. I don't know. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. For a while, but eventually turned herself in and pled guilty of kidnapping in 2011. With number three, we have the Grim Sleeper. In the 1980s, there had been several cases of black women, 38 to be exact, that had been killed and dumped into dumpsters and trash cans. In 2006, an LA Weekly journalist Christine Pelisic and her editor Jill Stewart were researching those previous murders and discovered that many were linked to the Grim Sleeper. There were many more murderers in the past committing these crimes as well. Lewis Crane, Michael Hughes, Daniel Lee Seibert, it goes on. Yet the Grim Sleeper seemed to have only come back to murder girls and had risen again out of nowhere, causing people to coin the nickname for him. The Grim Sleeper eventually murdered another person in 2007, 14 Jesus. years since his latest murder, and the hunt was on. He had a $500,000 bounty on his head from Los Angeles Jeez. officials, and even appeared on Fox's Most Wanted series. Only one girl survived throughout all of his attacks. The Grim Sleeper was eventually caught and arrested in 2010, and was sentenced to death for 10 murders and one attempted murder. His identity is Lonnie David Franklin Jr. At number two, we have Rain. How do you kill your everyday? How does your brain think that's, that's the, what you want to do? Their brains don't work properly, they, they work different, man. I just want to kill like 30 women. Someone sound by that, please. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> no, guys, stop, no. It's fine, Harry. Stop. Said it 
For over two months in 2001 during the summer, Kerala in India suffered through a never-ending rainfall that was just blood-red liquid spraying from the cloudy skies. Huh? Trees shed leaves that were gray, and 100 whole pounds or 1,600 ounces of this thick red liquid Lots drenched the entire state. That. This was not the first time it happened, however, as it has been great. happening dating all the way back to 1818, with no huh? one truly knowing why it had happened and will continue to happen in the future. This mysterious red liquid will always rain in the summer, and no other season for the blood-red rainfalls all around the world. The huh. instance in 2001 had caused many to believe that a comet with alien life spores has caused this red rainfall, and many felt the panic, because it's not every day that you get soaked in rare alien spores. This theory was quickly debunked, and the real answer yeah, but... was once again spores, but not any futuristic creepy alien life force kind of spores, but the kind of airborne spores that get backed up from green algae. In 2015, yeah. however, they discovered the true culprit algae, as the Trentipolia algae. Blood red rains happen due to the Trentipolia and the spores it lets up in the air. But to rain crimson red ooze for two straight months is something that was never heard of prior. No one truly knows why it rained that long, yet many know it wasn't the last time it will happen in the world. Finishing off this list is the story of true determination that proves how intriguing mysteries can truly be to someone. Barry Wellborn, a journalist for the Orange County Register, his main motivation and goal was to figure out the true way that Linda Cummings had been killed in her hotel room. Linda Cummings was found hung in 1974, oh. naked, wearing absolutely nothing. After a police investigation, they ruled her death as a suicide and left it at that, even when they were portrayed conflicting info. Yet listening to her backstory, you can understand why the police thought it was suicide. Her mother died of cancer not too long after she was born. And since her father couldn't take good care of her and her two sisters, each of them were placed in foster homes. Once Linda was a teenager, she chose to move in with her dad. However, her dad was a very heavy drinker and made life hell for her in their house. She was forced to move out at 18 years old into a motel, where she was found dead 10 years later. They were unable to determine whether she had picked up her father's addictive habits and claimed it was her depression that ended up driving her to suicide. Wellborn didn't buy it. He investigated on the case himself, reporting on it for 31 whole years. Jesus. His main suspect was the building manager, who was convicted of another murder six months after Linda's quote-unquote suicide. Hmm. Wellborn had over 60 whole interviews for his article. He eventually published the article in eight whole parts, <laughs> written like a biography about the life of Linda Cummings. Once the articles were published and portrayed hard evidence, the building manager was found guilty of the murder of Linda Cummings and was arrested and sentenced on behalf of her death. One man spent three That's whole decades of his life to find the true answer of the three case, decades. to find the final piece of the puzzle that ended up bringing justice to the worst. And that's our list. Did you know, agree? Yeah, fair Disagree? Like, is, Have any like, more wow. suggestions for Mr. That's one years trying to prove it. Imagine like you find out at the end, like, oh no, like I was wrong the whole time. <laughs> she did just kill yeah, herself. Oh God. God. Like, 31 years later. Oh. That's crazy. We're not even 31. That's a long time. It yeah, is a long time. Me about age, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've we've talked too much about age that I don't like it. I don't, I'm going for a run now, you know. I'm, 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 I'm going out. Harry, Harry is the most scared of it as well. I don't think he's like, ah! I, mean, I just don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Dude, you've had years to get. You've, you guys have had years to come to terms with it. Here's the issue. So I'm you, still you're, come to terms. Nah. I think you just bullied us about it so much. Now you're realizing it's actually come to bite you in the bum. Nah, nah, nah. Because you I've just hit the age where I've just got out the age where it wasn't really, really even a thing in my head. And now I'm so entering now the entering phase it. where I'm thinking about it. Like, like oh god. <laughs> so, so you start looking after yourself more now? I do look I'm about to go for a run. I'm about to go for a run. Can I go oh, for thanks a run? for watching more Sidemen, guys. Or oh, not more Sidemen. <laughs> Bad memory out. <laughs> Which one's yours? <laughs> 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 what are we on again? <laughs> See you guys in a bit. <laughs> Harry, bro, your age is getting to you already. You're already getting confused which channel you're on. Bro, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't need to do him like that. that was... Oh, come on, guys. He threw a slow pitch. I was going to swing. <laughs> no, but for real. Um, they, ah, uh, they, they're, they're so, ah, uh, uh, these types of videos just like blow my mind that it literally, like, the first one was, it took them 90 years to find her, which is crazy to me. Like, ah, but like, cause it, it, blah, blah, blah. I, I knew of the Anastasia one, because if you remember, Disney came out with that Anastasia, uh, Disney movie. I mean, granted that one came out with the happier story, obviously, but like the backstory, like once you like, cause we learned about uh, Anastasia in history as well. And I was like, what? Like, yo, so, <laughs> so I have like some like, uh, not like a lot, like a lot of knowledge, but like little bits of bits and pieces of knowledge of like what, you know, cause in the movie, she kind of like just, uh, like amnesia in a way, I'm guessing. Well, not really amnesia, but like doesn't remember cause she was so young when it happened kind of thing and just kind of lives her life. 
and then comes out to find find out that she what it was it like a what in is it, is it a princess? I don't know in Russia what they're it well because it was kings and queens right I, possibly because it was like her grandma uh, is the one that was still alive which I don't know why she was still alive but her grandma was still alive. And she met her grandma, and that's how she found out that she was Anastasia, the princess, ha ha, kind of thing. I don't know, <laughs> but if you if you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I honestly haven't seen it in a couple of years, so my it's a little foggy there too. <laughs> but all I know is that Robin Williams, I believe, is also in that movie, so that's kind of why I'm like, oh my god, I love that movie too. <laughs> But other than that, are there any other mysteries that you guys know of that are like, oh my gosh, like the one I'm trying to talk about from school, I will, I, I, like I said, I'll throw it up again, just because I, I can't remember the name of it, but it was, it was something weird, like, ugh, if I can't find it, I'm going to be so sad. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy, as I did, like I said, I kind of enjoyed what I was like, uh, <laughs> but um, let me know. If you guys like this type of video, maybe I'll do one on my own kind of thing. Who knows? Like I said, I like I, like, I say a lot of things. <laughs> I say a lot of things, but like that's the thing. They probably won't happen till like down the line. Hope not. Hopefully, but like they'll they'll go they'll they'll be uploaded maybe like down the line or something. Just because like right now I just yeah. <laughs> I'm just mostly trying to get caught up right now. So, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I will see all you beautiful, wonderful people in my next video. And thank you guys so much for over 950 subscribers. We're so close to 960, which means we're that much closer to 1,000 subscribers. And I can't thank you guys enough for everything that you do for me. And I will see all you beautiful, wonderful people in my next video. All right, bye.